So Workhorse, if you guys don't know what this company is, a quick little recap about what their business model is all about is they make these last mile logistic vehicles. They got the C650 and the C1000. These are the vehicles that you see outside your neighborhood delivering your FedEx packages, your Etsy packages, your Amazon packages, etc. I mean, a lot of these logistics companies know that the last mile logistics is a just as important part of the delivery system as the semi trucks, the airplanes, and cargo ships. Remember, Tesla semis, Nikola Motor trucks, and also the Hylion trucks, they're all making these giant semi trucks that docking these trucking facilities. These trucking facilities and semi trucks may seem really cool and all, but a lot of people, when they invest in these logistic companies and EV vehicles, no one even thinks about the last mile logistic vans. Remember, these vans are the ones that give you your mail. These are the vans that give you your packages. You're not going to be seeing a giant semi truck from Tesla riding around in your neighborhood. That's too big. So you can clearly see Workhorse has two different models. They also received the U.S. certification for safety, and they are already producing these vehicles, already getting a few sales here and there. What they are lacking right now is a big contract from a specific company. And so far, that is what everyone is talking about. The reason why the stock is going up is because of anticipation for the poster service to start negotiations for this giant truck contract. And you want, we all know that the USPS has these really old small trucks and they're in a dire need of an upgrade. And after years of delays, finally, they're gonna be having a $6 billion deal and they may pick a company. So far, Ford's option may seem pretty good, but they run strictly on gasoline. Workhorse is actually one of the three companies that made it on the postal service list. That means a lot. Now, the postal service may give Workhorse a smaller piece of the contract due to the fact that their factory doesn't crank out as many cars as people want to. Currently, they can only crank out a few cars here and there per month, but they will actually start up production as soon as possible. And so far, if you check out Workhorse, you can clearly see they got this beautiful vehicle. It delivers you know, mail, packages, and stuff like that. If you want a bigger vehicle, you got C1000. So this is why the stock is going up even when the NASDAQ is going down. It's honestly really, really impressive. And if you guys are wondering, okay, does Workhorse have any previous deliveries? Back in 2018, they got a order from UPS for 950 vehicles. This is insane. These are electric delivery vehicles. And guess what? They're already delivering a few of these vehicles to UPS. Remember, the reason why Workhorse stock is honestly doing so good isn't just because have these EV vans. Remember, Rivian is making these EV vans as well. You have a lot of other Silicon Valley EV startups making cars, sedans, and SUVs. But why is Workhorse stock doing so well? It's because as simple as this, they have a factory. A lot of EV companies out there don't have a factory. What's happening, YouTube? This is my coming week stock video where I talk about making money in puts, calls. We call this option income. And if you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, use my code, get Robinhood, get a free stock. I get one. No better time than today to start investing in your future. And I'm teaching you guys how to make some income weekly and monthly while you're investing long term. The chart you're seeing is everything I've done this month. And it shows what I did last week. So last week I put a call on Tesla and I put a put on Workhorse. And I showed you guys at the beginning of this video why I've been using Workhorse. I've been riding Workhorse like a damn Workhorse for weeks now, making put money. Last week I did three puts on them for $165, got my money back on Friday. The sad part of this story is the call I did on Tesla at 405, it got called because Tesla ended at like 450 or something, 444. But either way, you still see the premium I made last week, 705, 185. And I'm not mad about the Tesla call because I was in Tesla ladies and gentlemen, for $265 per share. So not only do I get the call money, but I also get the difference in what I pay for my shares on top of that. So I'm not mad. And this week, all I did was buy some more Tesla. It was time for me to take some money off the table anyway, pull some of those profits. So the call went, I went and bought 50 shares back. And now I'm going to show you guys me putting in another week of workhorse put to get some income for the week. 
All right, we're in my Robin Hood account. You see the expiration date is this Friday the 25th, and I'm going to sell a put on Workhorse. And you see the share price is 3076. I'm going to go down to somewhere around, probably I'll do, let's see here, I'm going to do 28 bucks. You see the chance of profit is 72. Remember everyone, when you do these, you multiply the 28 by 100. That's what you're going to have to put up. And then you multiply that number 115 by 100. That's the premium you get up front. So I'm going to go ahead and do it at 28. Review the order. Everything looks good. Expires on that day. Make sure you check that. And then you're good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you make money in the stock market. You just forecast which one is going to work for you. And my put is in, and we'll check my status next week. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and download my Robinhood link. You get a free stock, I get one.